this super duper simple for you, absolute quick hit, but you have to click on the link of our sponsor. Did you do it yet? All right, sweet. All right, you're totally gonna kick yourself in the butt for this one, but basically all you have to do is create a new layer on top of the graphic that you turned into a button, and instead of using that graphic as the button, put this invisible shape over the top of it, turn the opacity down to zero, turn that into the button, and then even when the content's showing up underneath it, people can see right through it, so it's no big deal. Now, kick yourself in the butt for that one. Uh, and just in case you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, feel free to watch the rest of the video. And don't forget to love our advertisers. Hey folks, this is Rusty Warden with Rocker Down Studios, and today I've got another quick hit for you. Um, this is my first time uh, ever really creating an interactive PDF, uh, and uh, so I'm kind of learning some things as I go through the process, but I ran into this little stumbler for a minute. So um, first off, this is the, the first document that I created, uh, and I'm gonna roll over this document, everything flashes and, and stuff like that, and that won't happen in the final version, but um, I roll over the button, which is this green box here, and then the content shows up, uh, but it's not showing up in the layer priority that I set it in InDesign. In InDesign, that layer is actually on top of all those other buttons, and so what I discovered is that there's an order of operations uh, uh, law in this program that set that all buttons will always exist on top of anything else, so um, that's not terribly useful for me. Um, so again, I've, I've seen people post questions about this, um, and so let me just flip over here to InDesign. So this is the source document um, that I'm using to create this interactive PDF. And uh, what you'll notice right here is that um, I've now got these new invisible boxes. It's a, it's a really cheap, simple solution uh, uh, to solve the problem. But basically, I'm creating these invisible boxes that no one can see. Uh, and uh, those are going to be my hit areas, if you're familiar with the old school vernacular. Uh, those are the hit areas uh, for uh, the button. So I'm no longer making the object the button, which seemed to make the most sense. I am now making these invisible layers the button. So even when the content shows up, it's gonna show up underneath everything, but those things have a uh, opacity set to zero. So there we have it. This is Rusty Warden with Rocker Down Studios, and I hope that was extremely helpful.